Hi, I'm Brent Haynes with Wood Sound Flutes, and I'm thrilled to have this opportunity to introduce you to the Brazilian Rosewood Double Flute. This is uh, in the key of mid B. This flute is made from Brazilian Rosewood. We have yellow cedar burl for the mouthpiece and, the, and our saddles and end cap. We've got some turquoise inlay. We've got copper inlay and silver inlay also here in the, um, in the mouthpiece. Uh, and in the totems, the totems all have like this maze, uh, the Zuni maze with silver vegas, and it's just an awful lot of fun. This flute was a blast to make um, and to design, uh, to create and come up with this uh, this design. Of course, we've got the Easy Clean mouthpiece on this flute, so the flute is designed to uh, to be really, really uh, playable, and also one that is going to handle. Um, lots and lots of, of time in, in your hands and being played. And that's the purpose of this mouthpiece is to get blow this out, get it all dry and everything. If you're not familiar with the Wood Sounds Double Flute, let me just take a minute and explain it to you. Uh, Wood Sounds Double Flute literally is two flutes that are joined together with the ability to play through the mouthpiece each flute together or separately. Uh, you've got different holes for each flute. The hole that sticks out a little bit towards you is the uh, top flute, and the one that goes down is uh, goes in a little bit is the bottom flute. Then the bottom flute has six holes that we can cover or uncover with these straps on the bottom. So if you want to use the flute as a drone, which is the simplest um, form to use it, uh, a drone simply means that you are you play one flute, and the other flute is going to play. Uh, uh, a droney note. So I've got it set up for the fundamental right now. So there's our fundamental note. And you can see that's really fast. It's just even as a drone, it's awesome. I can play it as a single. I can play it as a drone. Oh, man. <laughs> it's hard not to just keep playing because it, uh, the sound is just really captivating. It pulls you right in. So now I'm going to just uncover the bottom hole on the bottom flute, and uh, we have a different droning note. And you can see that it, uh, the different droning note creates a totally different vibe as we're playing. So I can uncover the next hole and, and have another note to drone with. And uh, that has a different vibe. And then, of course, we can uncover the three holes on the bottom. And so I can create that um, droning note with uh, with the three holes on the bottom uncovered. Now I can also, at this point, move my bottom hand to the bottom flute. I play left hand down. I know that's goofy hand for most of you. Play right hand down. But uh, it doesn't really matter whether you play left hand down, right hand down, same thing. Bottom hand just goes to the bottom flute. Top hand goes to the top flute. And by and large, I'll leave this hole, uh, the third hole from the top, covered as I'm playing, and that will lead me in the pentatonic minor and, and let that be uh, a good harmony. The only thing that I do like quite a bit is um, on this third hole down. I like half holing it, or another way to do that is to simply cover the hole below it with my pinky, and I can get I can get a note that um, that is really delicious. It has a, a really lovely flavor um, in the, some of the intervals. So it's just a really beautiful flavor that you can get by doing a simple half hole or 
or covering there. So that's the only other thing that I'll do as I'm playing. And other than that, I'm just gonna use my hands separately from each other. So if I wanna raise the fingers on the bottom hand, well, I can move the top hand if I want or not. Same with the top hand, I can move the top hand fingers and not move the bottom hand and the, whole, and the flute won't squeak. And that way I can get um, kind of, I call it walking harmonies, a harmony that um, uh, travels with you as you make the music. It's really fun. It is just an awful lot of fun. And then I can take the mouthpiece off and blast out water and the water just comes pouring out of there. I can tip this upside down and tap out moisture. Of course, move the totems and let the flute dry out. And that is our ideal way to care for the instrument is to get everything nice and dry. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. This is again the Wood Sounds Double Flute. This is uh, Brazilian Rosewood with turquoise yellow cedar burl in the key of mid B. If you have any questions, give me a call 801-822-1415 or brent at woodsounds.com. Hope you have a wonderful day.